friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube and I use spirit, my intuition, the tarot to communicate energies to you guys. Most amazing, beautiful viewers. Today's reading, we're looking at the person on your mind and what you can expect next in the connection between you and this person or this relationship, whatever this partnership is, what can you expect next? Now, this could be anyone at all. Um, I will pull energy. So I will be reading the cards and it will be the frequency in which this person is sitting in right here, right now. So as you guys know, energy is not linear. All right. So this means that this could be passing, present or future energies. If it resonates for you as where your connection is sitting, then the message is meant to find you. Do not make anything fit because this is a collective general reading. So it is not going to be a hundred percent, although the gist of the energy should be something that is matching what is going on energetically between you and this person. All right. So hopefully we get a little indicator here as to who this person is so that you know whether it, um, it is your pile or not, but I won't be doing an energy check. So it's very important that you use your intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether the messaging is the right one for you. All right. So three options. Option one is this collection of stones. Option two is this collection of stones. And option three is this collection of stones. So I will put the timestamps in the description box and in the pinned comment below. It will take you directly to pick one, two, or three. If it doesn't feel like your story or like it's resonating, then just go pick another pile. You're not stuck to one pile. All right. Um, and I will see you at your pick. Hello, my most amazing, gorgeous angels. You guys pick, pick one and or you guys picked pick one and these are the stones right here for your combination so we're taking a look at the person on your mind and what you can expect next in this connection this relationship from this person and we will see if we can get a little indicator here throughout the message as to who this person might be although i'm not doing an energy check so like i mentioned in the intro very important you use your own intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether or not this is your message. Only you can do that. I am just reading energy as it sits. And this could be passing, present, future energy. Since energy is not linear, it could be anywhere in the timeline I am tapped into here. Okay, so let's take a look at what you can expect next from this person and this connection. All right, we have loss. Sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. Mm. And we have a dove here. Dove is all about peace. We have lots of cards, so I don't know if they're all going to fit. Um, we might have to do two parts here. All right, so 49 with willing release. Or card 13, which is the death card in the tarot. Scorpio coming through. These look like dandelion seeds, which is all about wishes. A willing release. Okay, so far we have a little bit of a, a theme here with uh, releasing death loss. True gem. Valuable quality jewelry. We have courthouse 23 or the number 5. Don't take words literal on these cards, okay? I'm just solely reading energy here. We have the rider with the nine of hearts, which is nine of cups, the number one. The rider. And we have 33 with unavailable heart. Face painful experiences and heal. Two hearts, a red heart and a blue heart. And we have things. things. We have the kiss with 60 or number six. 
And we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 33 is a master number. Okay, 33 is all about reproduction, creativity. It's also Christ consciousness, uh, joy, harmony, humor. That's coming through. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting, and hesitation. We have snake spirit, time to heal with 55. 55 is also a master number. It's about change. Uh, change is the only thing that's constant. And divinely orchestrated change. All right, so we have begin with this starburst, star in the middle. I'm getting heavy Aquarius energy. And we have confusion. All these clouds. We have trickery with the heart chakra and all the green, the dragon and the squirrel, and the acorn. We have Jupiter, 23, another five here. So we have 23, 23 coming out twice. You can look up that angel number and lots of fives, five, 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 five. So you can look up four fives so far, Jupiter with abundance. Jupiter is a ruling planet for Sagittarius and Pisces. And we have Saboteur, light attributes. It highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. Shadow attribute induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. We have Copper here with 23. 23 coming out again, you guys. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. Three twenty threes, so we have now five fives. My goodness, copper. Let's put that over here. You guys can see that. And we have high priest with nine nine personal empowerment, and we have the hen, divine feminine energy coming with the hen. We have attraction number nine. So now we have nine, nine, nine. The energy of attraction amplifies the qualities of a, the qualities that attract and support us on our journey toward inner balance and harmony. Nine is all about fruition, completion, completion, and fulfillment. Okay, two more cards. We have surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. And we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. All right. So let me see that I'm in frame. A little like a glove. Okie dokie. Pile one. Let me just tap into this energy. It's coming through quite clear to me. Uh, lots of cards, but one sort of consistent sort of energy I'm feeling here. But let me sit with this. You can click on the timestamp to get to your main reading. Okay, pile one, uh, you can definitely flip roles, okay, to fit however your person is sitting and where you're sitting, but uh, there's an energy here of someone, which I'll read as your energy, who is going to move on from this connection. I, I feel you're moving on from this connection, okay? And I feel like there's one person, which I'm looking at as your person, who has not been someone you could count on okay the person who you cannot count on is keeping you in confusion and is not being stand up here they're not doing what's in your best interest here and so i feel like if you've been the one feeling kind of lost or not understanding you're feeling like this person's a sabotage or like you've been putting in a lot of work and trying to make something happen here in this connection 
then you're the one who's deciding to move on, move away here. Um, and I think it's for good. I, I do feel as though there's a cycle being broken here. You're now moving on to opening the door to your next connection, okay? And I, I feel like um, there might have been a lot of cycles. It might have been very difficult for you to... Um, come to this sort of conclusion, but I feel like you're understanding your self-worth. I feel like you understand what it is you deserve. I feel like you understand what this connection has done in regards to not fulfilling certain things here that you're wanting or needing for yourself. And, and so I feel like Spirit is showing the best decision you could possibly do here is to release and move on and not harbor any sort of resentment, but trust that by doing this, you open the door to what is meant for you. You release any sort of confusion and any sort of angst and anything else that goes into having to maintain an energetic sort of pull towards trying to work on your own especially if somebody is not emotionally available or has not been consistently there to support you i feel you want a partner you can lean on support um, them and them support you in an equal way i feel as though this connection might be one in which you never felt like this person yeah had your best interest in mind and maybe you feel as though this person wasn't showing you love and didn't feel like they were showing you affection is what I feel here. I feel like you were robbed of affection and maybe this person got a lot of what they wanted out of you. I feel like you might feel like you've been used or like this person seems like they, they might have used you for certain things that you are capable of offering you know maybe i don't know rides maybe some of you guys physically gave this person a place to stay or provided this person with money or with i don't know like yeah like i feel like there's a physical thing here that this i don't know and maybe you depended on this person um for some physical things in your life but i feel as though yeah, this is coming through for some of you guys. Like, if you're in a connection with someone here because you've built a stability here with this person in a practical way and, and you've been with them, you're doing so jeopardizing your future happiness and heart's content here. I feel as though it's a cold sort of connection. And so you're understanding what you actually want i think you want intimacy you want a bond you want someone who's attracted to you somebody who shows you a, a lot and abundance in, in a way that's beyond just maybe in the pentacle realm here and so i feel like once you make this decision you open the door immediately here with this very soon to someone coming in here that is going to provide you with the intimacy and the abundance that I think you're wishing for. I'm getting an energy here that you're kind of putting up with a situation that isn't been great for a long time. And now I feel you just want peace. You could have been wishing and hoping to find something better and to change, um, change this connection, change throughout this connection so that you have the ability to move forward i just feel like you feel this person is in it for themselves and I, I feel like you really want something that's sustainable for you and so i do feel as though you might have invested quite a bit of time here with this person you know it's, it's been taking quite some time i feel like you've given this person enough time to make change or to prove themselves or to show up or to sh connect with you. And I feel this person has sabotaged. I feel like this is a lot of work. I feel like you're very tired. I feel like you've done a lot of healing. I feel like you're not the same person you were when you first started this connection with this person. For a lot of you guys, it could be a marriage in which you're looking to divorce from because it just is not something that's sustainable. And you feel like this person has made themselves 
unavailable emotionally or just not the type of thing that you're needing here in your life. So I feel as though there is a journey ahead here with the rider, this nine of cups, finding your emotional fulfillment. What fulfills you personally, emotionally here, okay? And you get this awareness and you move towards your wish and your, your desire here and you get empowered to do this, to take charge of your own life rather than being dependent on someone else's sort of story or what someone else thinks that you should be doing. I feel like you've been trying to appease someone or just, yeah, like be in, in a connection here and it's mostly doing actions and potentially fulfilling you in a, in a pentacle sort of way, you know? So you've been making yourself available in, in a pentacle sort of way, but I feel like there was um, you not knowing whether you know, things were going to get better or like why things might have just stayed the way they are or trying to figure out if this person would, I don't know, change or if the situation would get better or if there would be a change up in emotions or whether the right thing to do is to detach from this person and, you know, do the best thing for you. And I feel like you're coming into understanding your self-worth, what you desire, you know, that there is a lot of weight behind why you're feeling the way you're feeling, that the universe wants you to connect to intimacy, wants you to not settle for situations that deprive you of connecting on a soul deep level here. So I feel like you do come into a trust of moving on, closing a chapter and no longer maybe thinking that someone else is responsibility to make you happy or that someone else is supposed to do anything at all, that you're in control of your life and that whatever has happened in this connection has been as a result of two people engaging, you know, and that you only have sort of control on your own self to take action and to do what it is that you need to do to heal. So I think you've experienced quite a bit in this connection to really understand yourself, to really know what you want, to really make the best moves and decision for you and to really move towards a nine of cups here. Okay. So yeah, I feel you do this willingly. Like I feel as though staying would just be more hurtful. Staying would just, uh, part of you is just incapable of, of staying stagnant in a connection here that's not providing you with any sort of, yeah, I feel like the most thing it's not providing you is intimacy, passion, and maybe the attraction is withered away. You're certainly confused as to how much more time do you put in or invest. I do feel as though maybe, in, in, like I said, in a practical way, there's been some stability. I feel like you might have at one point felt like, yeah, this person sabotaged this connection by taking you for granted or not doing what they should have done here to maybe, I don't know, do what they needed to do is what I feel here. Okay. And maybe you were trying. So let's see what the tarot is going to show us. Spirit, can we get just a deeper layer here for pile one in regards to the person on their mind and what can they expect next in this connection? Thank you so much. Spirit, a clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile one. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message. And thank you so much, pile one, for allowing me to tap into your energy, the energy around you at this time. I'm truly blessed. Thank you so much. Five of pentacles in reverse. So you come out of a situation where you feel, I feel it's unloved or under appreciated, out in the cold, undervalued, nine of cups, emotionally not fulfilled. Emotionally not fulfilled and somebody could be, you know, in an energy here that's thinking of self. It's not considerate of you. Eight of pentacles in reverse. So I feel as though there's no more here that you're able to sort of work with. I feel like there's been a lot of time invested here in trying to build and create something. Okay, a home, a foundation, a structure, a relationship that's sustainable. And I feel like 
you're giving up. I feel like you're no longer wanting to spend and invest all the time, maybe having to maintenance this connection and put forward the energy and the effort and the dedication towards something here that emotionally doesn't fill you. And, and it doesn't, if, even in a practical way here, I feel like, okay, if let's say you're relying on this person, I, I feel as though I feel as though there comes a point where, yeah, you're still not getting whatever you're getting from this connection is still not enough to keep you there. It's still not enough for you to want to, I don't know, make it work. It's, it's not enough. It's not enough. You feel very left out and maybe you felt like this for quite some time. So let's see, why is this five of pentacles here? Spirits, we have the six of wands. Yeah, there's, this is the success card in the upright, and in the reverse, it's like kind of being defeated, you know? Same with this, is like giving up. It's like no longer putting forward the energy and the effort towards something. Like, why bother sort of energy to create something here? Hierophant in reverse. This could be certainly the end of a marriage. The end of a commitment you guys might not have the same values maybe what you understood to be one thing at one point in time has changed and we have the nine of pentacles that's that maybe you know we're really relying on someone to provide us with some sort of stability in some way or in a practical way we were relying on someone that we realize we don't need to we are able to stand on our own nine pentacles you can stand on your own be successful be independent you can willingly release anything that doesn't emotionally fulfill you or make you feel out in the cold make you feel undervalued underappreciated make you feel really sad i feel here okay and i feel like you feel confident again you feel capable again but i, I do feel as though you make the decision here too cut ties here you know um yeah and if you're not to marry then it's just uh, you decide that the the this person this community of people everyone kind of surrounding this person and this connection is something you want to withdraw from like you don't you no longer want to sort of engage the fool in reverse so I don't read bottom of the deck generally in reverse here yet. Two of swords. I, I feel as though whatever this is, is taking you a very long time. You might have sat, burying your head in the sand, not wanting to see, not wanting to make a decision at an impasse. You know, do I stay? Do I go? That kind of an energy feeling very stuck and not wanting to take the leap or take the, the, the yeah, take the leap, take the chance and, and moving on. And I feel you do. I feel you do, okay? But I feel like the challenge here is you feeling very stuck. You feeling kind of like you cannot. You feeling like you have to put up with, I don't know, like I said, like someone else's agenda or like you have to kind of sit in an, in an, in a situation that's emotionally unfulfilling for whatever reason because maybe that's the value you carried at one point that, you know, people never divorce no matter what um, and live the rest of their life emotionally unhappy. Um some way you're brought up thinking the best thing to do maybe is to tough it out or but I, I do feel as though there's someone that with this trickery here you know and this saboteur like i don't know i just i i feel like this person is only really thinking about themselves in some way and maybe spirit is saying it's time for you to really think of self you know like don't sabotage your own self this could certainly be your own energy here and you've been the one sort of maybe feeling guilt or blame because i don't necessarily know maybe that this person is now in, intending i just feel like you feel left out in the cold you feel like there's maybe no intimacy or no more attraction or passion or desire or future potential here and something that's going to emotionally fulfill you and your heart's not in it I, i'm gonna just pull one for trickery here and see like is this self-sabotage has this person lied to you and now you can't sort of get over it have they sabotaged like i just assumed this was 
representing the energy you're dealing with because I don't really see who this is, but it could certainly be your energy of, of self, you know, you kind of talking yourself into why you need to maintain something here. I feel you no longer do this. So let's see, why is this trickery saboteur here, spirits? I know the confusion here is your own confusion. Two of pentacles. Yeah, it's like the back and forth. And then we trick ourselves to stay, you know, and it could be repeating cycles. Like we're still unhappy. We give it another chance and we still don't get what we want. And we are kind of, should I go? Should I stay? We might be choosing, yeah, like to stay when our our mind or body and our, our spirit's telling us there's another option here. So you might be contemplating and stuck in this contemplation for quite some time. And, and so it starts to sort of sabotage the connection because now you're neither in it nor are you out of it so you're in limbo is what i see here with this two of pentacles and this is not a good place this is like tricking ourselves and maybe convince ourselves that yeah judgment there's a realization and awakening here that you have that's what's what you can expect next okay what you can expect next is your own self getting into a period of aha what's best for me this is where we look at everything that's happened. This is the karma card and we make a judgment based on our experiences. Okay. This is a lot of wisdom. You've gone through quite a bit and we start to see, you know, what do we value? What do I want to commit to? Have I been committing here to something very much have my blinders on or committed to something at all costs here that, but everything else is showing me that I'm not happy and that this isn't where I want to be, you know, and I don't want to stay in limbo land or just in this sort of physical connection, but not being present emotionally, spiritually, and otherwise here. Okay, so I think you have this realization, and then we see the dove here and the dove here. It's all about peace, and, and the wings are open. I feel you soar. You fly away from... Yeah, like you rise above it. You fly away from the, the strife. You find peace by letting go, by willingly releasing this connection, by coming to some understanding here and making peace with it, okay? So this is what I see, pile one. Um, it's not for everybody, but if you were resonating, then you can expect this sort of from your own self, you know, next in the relationship, all right? So I will see you soon. Bye. Hello, my gorgeous angels. Pile number two. You guys pick these three stones right here, this combination. Pile two. Let's take a look at what this energy is all about. We're looking at the person on your mind, the connection you came here about, and what can you expect to happen next energetically? And what's going to happen next in this connection, in this relationship? Now, hopefully we get an indication of who this person is in the cards, although it might not come through. So, I need you to use your intuition, what you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether this is your pile or not, because I won't be doing an energy check, okay? So what will happen next? Let's take a look. We have sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, we have a Grand Symphony 27, or the number 9. Grand Symphony. We have past life, knowing, deja vu, and past love. Wowzers. We have Judication, number 30, or the number 3. Okay. We have a lot of cards, and I'm hoping they fit. We have the Cross, Six of Clubs, which is the Six of Wands. And then we have 36 showing up. Number nine. Didn't we have nine here? Nine here. So two nines. Nine's about fruition, completion, fulfillment. Six of Wands is all about um, victory. It could be public recognition as well. Okay. We have 36. Look at 236. You might want to Google angel number 3636 and see what it's about. But now we have three nines, and it says, Forgiving Hearts. Don't let the past imprison you to the present. Mm, okay. 
Don't let the past imprison you to the present. We have act of love, yes or no. And we have arcana. Arcana. With a bat here. It looks like a bat. Bats have a difficult time seeing. Okay. We have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, of fun to shine. We have the storm with number 47. The storm. That's number 11. And we have parrot spirit. Watch your words with 45. Nine coming out again. Wow, lots of nines, you guys. Um, we have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. And gratitude and bliss. We have make with a bunch of hands and a bunch of stars. So Aquarius energy. Also getting... Um, Aries energy out of this energy that I'm feeling here, okay? Emperor energy. Divine masculine energy. And we have acceptance here. Red, root chakra. And we have dissipating with the solar plexus uh, chakra. Dissipating. Storm. Okay. And then we have Descendant with Invitation, 37. Interesting because we have 36, 36. Now we have 37. Descendant, Descendant Invitation. We have Knight with the Light Attribute, Loyalty, Romance, and Chivalry, a Love of Honor. Shadow Attributes, a lot, uh, a lot. Allegiance to a destructive ruler or principal romantic delusions. We have Saturn with the number seven. Saturn's the ruling planet for Capricorn and Aquarius. We have one one karmic relationship releasing the past. So twice here we're talking about don't let the past imprison you to the present here it's talking about releasing the past we have the wolf surrender obsessive thinking if you're obsessing about a person or situation turn the dilemma over to spirit doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem Okay, and we have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. And we have sensitivity with 35, 35, 36, 37. Interesting. The frequency of sensitivity helps us open. The frequency of sensitivity helps us open to the world of subtlety and detail while anchoring in a structural foundation thus supporting us to become more fully multidimensional. Okay. I don't know that we're going to keep that there because it might be difficult to see. Okay. Let me see that we're all in frame. Okay, looks good. It's a little shoved, but that's okay. So let me sit with this energy and see what you can expect next in this connection
Okay. So, I don't know if this is your energy, your person's energy, but all I'm really getting here is one energy. Okay, it could be yours, I don't know. But uh, I feel as though whoever this person is has not been allowing themselves to be in this connection and presence because of whatever has happened to them in the past. And when I say happened to them in the past, I feel as though it's something that's made this person be emotionally unavailable, too fearful to engage and allow their inner child to come out open and vulnerable to express love. And I feel as though this person is really sort of has been very challenged here, okay? Carrying a lot of passing pains and this could have been something that came through with their past life or ancestral traumas and a lot of stuff here that's kept this person incapable of being present and engaging in this situation. But I feel as though there's a recognition here in having to engage and take action in this connection to be present, to be mindful, to actually engage here and cooperate and be harmonious and work together rather than separate or detached. So I feel like there is a step up here in commitment. And I feel like there is a recognition in how this person has been engaged here. There's, there's an understanding that this person's actions and words, like how they've been showing up in a physical way here, have not been in line with how they're feeling. And I feel it's caused a lot of conflict in this connection. So I feel like with this invitation here, I feel like this person that I'm tapped into is going to be coming forward with communication and, and their desire here to commit differently, to show up differently, to actually, yeah, accept the situation for what it is rather than fight or resist and, and take action here to make their wish happen for themselves because I feel like this person wants to make things happen. I feel like this person wants abundance. I feel like this person understands that they can either get in line with how they're feeling or they could continue to engage in ways that um, weren't bringing you and them any closer. So I feel like this person does not want to let this moment pass here with dissipating that potentially this connection could just disappear if this person isn't communicating, if this person isn't honest, if this person has not yet been able to show up or, or be completely transparent with who they are and what they're feeling. Because I don't think this person has shown it and I feel it's been a long time. I feel like there's been a heaviness here in this connection. I feel like this person has been resisting allowing themselves to allow this connection to flow. I feel like this person has been thinking worst case scenarios and, and maybe they don't want to experience what they've experienced in the past. That's been very painful. It could have been a painful um, relationship that this person doesn't want to re relive. It could be in this connection that you guys might have a history here of something that's left this person sort of feeling like they've gone through pain in some way, but, but I feel like this person is releasing or detaching from the past. And I do feel as though this person feels a soul bond to you and potentially because you guys have been together in a past life or there's some deja vu here and in who you're meant to be or what you mean to this person. But I feel as though this person was in a past life impacted and it could be long ago in their now current life where they've experienced something that's left them sort of traumatized that was making them emotionally unavailable i feel here whatever's happened in the past has not allowed this person to be present has not allowed this person to express themselves has not allowed this person to be vulnerable has caused like i said a lot of chaos this person is coming to an understanding that this connection will 
slowly just disappear if they don't take action, if they don't accept that they need to be the ones here to grab the abundance, to make the future that they want happen here by solidifying something and, and formalizing something here. So I feel with invitation and this adjudication, I feel like this person is going to want to communicate their hope or their desire here of a future. And, and I feel like this person is bringing themselves to this present moment to make sure that their words and their actions are matching how they're actually feeling. I feel like this person feels they've been blind to this connection. I'm also feeling that there's been a telepathic soulful connection to you throughout this relationship. But that this person might have just been kind of doing their own thing here. And um, and maybe there's a feeling here of you understanding that this person, although they didn't tell you, that this person would somehow, I don't know, I feel like this person has been somehow communicating to you or, or allowing you the information that you need to know about this connection, you know, that they would be here or that they were suffering or that uh, yeah there was like communication here and i don't feel it was in words i feel like there was an energetic communication and an understanding you had of this person that was telling you this person was not available because they were in trouble or they were trying to deal with certain storms of the past and so they weren't in a place to engage in this connection because they were too busy dealing with themselves and what it was here that they've experienced like it was present moment although it it wasn't it's something that you know still ha held them hostage and so it was causing storm in the present and it didn't need to it was causing storm in this connection and it didn't need to So I feel like this person was needing to find their role in this connection and show up this grand symphony. Like what sort of instrument do they play in this symphony? Like their own voice in this connection, their own role in this connection, their own way of showing up so that they can be a part of the connection and, and actually make it happen. You know, like the choice is theirs. And, and I feel like this person sees... Like I said, this connection potentially getting to the point where they miss out or that it just is sort of goes away because they were incapable of making that decision after a, a long, lengthy process here. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions, it's a sacrifice to love. We have obsessions here. And obsessive overthinking here. So I'm feeling devil energy. And it could be that this person could have had unhealthy ways of being that were really not allowing this person to move forward, you know, like, I don't know, destructive ways. Some of you guys, maybe this person could have been trying to overcome something for quite some time, you know, and, and I feel like we were talking about this past experience that's left them kind of broken and I don't know that again if it's happened in this lifetime or that they know it but it might have caused this person to engage in unhealthy things you know like substance abuse or just patterns in which how they act maybe they've been destructive in, in, in their actions unpredictable and needing to work on their root chakra which is you know habits and destructive ways and, and making themselves feel safe and that sort of thing and i just feel like this person might have been unavailable for quite some time and so what you can expect next is i, I feel this person is is understanding here to make a change they're going to have to be present they're going to have to take action here they're going to have to speak up and be a part of this connection show up emotionally and physically in a way here that's going to contribute to this connection and for a lot of you guys it's whatever the next step here in the, in the commitment formalizing something here yeah 
for the greater good of, of both of you guys here and whatever you guys are going to create. So let's ask Spirit for a clear and concise message here in regards to Pile 2. What can Pile 2 expect next in this connection with this person? Now, we didn't get a lot of who this person is, so feeling heavy um, devil energy, uh, which is Capricorn. Uh, a little bit of Libra coming through. Yeah, Cancer Scorpio and Pisces as well with the cups here and the knights. All right, Spirit, clear and concise message here for beautiful pile number two. Please protect me and the viewer as I channel this message for the greatest and highest good of pile two. What can pile two expect next in this connection? What can they expect next? We have justice. That's this adjudication. Libra energy. The black and white masculine feminine energy coming through. This person's going to bring balance to this connection, you know, restore the justice here because I, I feel like it's been imbalanced. I feel like this person hasn't been showing up, hasn't been providing justice to this connection, to you. The hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, this person is is definitely coming out. I think wherever they were kind of incapable of showing emotions or incapable of stepping forward, I think this person is now coming out of, you know, a very closed off place that they might have been in for quite some time. Guarded. They, they've, like I said, they've reflected here and I feel like there's a, an understanding and an acceptance that if they continue, that this connection could you know, be off the table, could dissipate and, and they could miss out on an opportunity. So I do feel this invitation is them coming forward to take action here to restore balance and justice. Four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're letting go of the past here. Whatever had them held back, okay? Because they were very held back here. There was something that was keeping them very stuck and they were staying in that energy. I feel this person's now coming out of this energy. So, why is justice here? We have the Six of Wands. Victory. This is interesting. Pile number one had the Six of Wands in reverse in the exact same spot. So, victory. Coming out. Uh, no longer under the radar. Like, uh, for all eyes to see here. Son of Swords. This is the Knight of Swords. This is right on the invitation. Communication, quick moving action, taking charge, making something happen, facing a challenge head on. I feel like this person is coming out, coming quickly, communicating with the owl here, all about wisdom. I, I think this person understands. Okay, in order to have victory, this person's going to have to step forward, have to take action, and have to communicate. And I feel that's exactly what this person is doing. Wherever they were held back, wherever this person was, yeah, like just. Uh, protected guarded wasn't allowing themselves to be visible we have the eight of cups in reverse and we have seven of pentacles in reverse so i feel like this person was not able to tend to this sort of connection tend to the garden of this connection you know they might have gave up before they even got started because i feel like this person was incapable of detaching from something in the past here that's left them broken and, and I, I feel like it wasn't emotionally fulfilling for them but it had a hold on them I feel like it was the reason why this person was not able to show up was not able to contribute here son yeah this person's getting clarity around this okay bringing balance getting clarity this is the most beautiful card I could pull in the tarot because it's very positive it's all about being enlightened happiness it's it's finding joy finding bliss and and seeing the truth for what it is here okay divine masculine energy and here we have the five of wands in reverse no longer wanting to argue no longer wanting the storm no longer no, um, having to com combat and be conflicted it's like wherever they were conflicted this person now sees okay and i feel like this person now sees that this connection makes them happy they don't want to lose out they see now the truth that they were too held back, that they were removed, that they were guarded, that they 
or living in the past or living in some sort of way that that had a hold on this person and, and i feel this person is breaking out and i just heard breaking out of jail so i don't know i feel this person did feel imprisoned by their past you know yeah imprisonment coming out here again interesting i don't know maybe how you'll know this person is maybe this person spent some time in prison for some of you guys that's a thing coming through here okay i don't know like literally maybe this maybe the prison is the prison of their own sort of i don't know like unhealthy thing here that had this person trapped but i feel like for some of you guys it could be literal we have judication here as well so if they were incarcerated for some time it could certainly be you know yeah interesting okay i i am tempted to pull just a little bit more here for you guys pile one but the message is very clear here okay i'm maybe not doing the best here in delivering this message um energetically so i'm feeling a little bit drained but for the most part, this is exactly what I'm seeing here. So spirits, am I missing anything? Pile number two. What am I missing? Clear and concise. Any questions pile two might have, if we can answer them now, that would be great. Anything they need to know for the greatest and highest good of pile two. What can they expect next in this connection? Thank you, spirit. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person's definitely going to fight for this connection. I feel like this person was retreating, hiding, pulled away, very hill back, and now they're stepping forward. They're fighting for what they want. This is a card of resilience and someone fighting for what they want. I think they really want this connection. Death, massive transformation. This person is changing. This whole connection is going to change from how it is right now. Scorpio energy. So I, I feel as though, yeah, like anything that's not working as connection, this person's realizing they have to make massive change here and bring a new energy and, and, and fight through this. Fight through the, the change they have to make here in order to show up. Three of pentacles in reverse. This person wasn't able to create with you, wasn't able to show up and play the instrument in the symphony to work together. Like I said, find cohesion. Okay, this is where Two people have to kind of come together in order to create something to collaborate to find cohesion and what they're wanting to create for the future and if the one person doesn't show up then they can't really create something lovers in reverse the choice this person was incapable of making a choice here to choose this connection I think that's the biggest change here is this person choosing this connection choosing to show up for this connection where they weren't in the past yeah choosing this kind of, i think in a, in a formal way here as well you know so why is the death card here spirit page of pentacles in reverse yeah, again not choosing the connection not going after the opportunity here in, in a practical way which is the formal way here you know seeing this opportunity in front of them this connection and not choosing it father of pentacles not committing to it all this is going to change. So what do we see? Yeah, and here, two of pentacles under that, ace of wands. I don't read bottom of the deck in reverse. So this person had a choice to make. Okay, so what's going to change? This person was very challenged in making a decision here to choose this connection. And they probably weren't able to prioritize. They were going back and forth. They might have seen up and down, very turbulent, stormy, because this person just wasn't capable of making the decision to choose this connection. This person is now inspired to make a decision here that they haven't in the past to fight for a massive change here in regards to them showing up, their availability, their commitment, their them being solid and inconsistent here in this connection instead of unreliable and yeah like this is someone who's not consistent who's unreliable who just is not choosing the connection is all i can say and what i keep hearing here okay because they just weren't in that mind space or weren't ready or weren't capable and now this person is fighting for the changes they need to make within themselves so that they could become someone completely different here that is able to work together that is able to choose this connection that isn't so up and down and turbulent because this person does not want to lose out 
So I don't know. They might have been in this energy for quite some time. There's the Mother of Pentacles. Yeah, this person feels as though you're their counterpart and they want to show up for you. They want stability. They want family. They want commitment. They want to formalize this, okay? And they want to commit to you. I feel like there is an energy here that this person might even want marriage with this faith showing up here right by this courthouse, okay? And so I feel like in order for this person to do this, this person's really having to fight through certain things that they might have had to sacrifice within their own life, lives in order to make massive spiritual changes within self and physical changes in their world so that they aren't the same person that they were when you met them. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio energy, more Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini. And like I said, I was feeling Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming through here and, and Libra because we saw Justice coming out. Okay, so this is what I have. Beautiful pile number two. Um, let me know if this resonates for you guys because that's what you can expect next from this person and this connection. Okay, bye. Hello, my gorgeous angels. Pile number three. You guys picked these three stone combination right here. Okay, so what are we looking at? We're looking at the connection you came here about, person on your mind, and what can you expect next in this connection? Okay, what can you expect next in this relationship? What's going to happen next? And since I'm not doing an energy check, I sure hope that you use your intuition. What you will see, feel, or hear to determine whether indeed this is your message or not, okay? I'm hoping maybe some of this person's traits comes through here so you know who it is but uh, the other two piles unless you are tuned into your intuition it might be difficult to tell okay we'll pull some tarot to get clarity but if the story isn't resonating then don't make it fit okay this has to be something that you already know intuitively and this is just here to confirm okay i'm just reading energy so let's take a look lots of cards i'm hoping we can fit them all on here limitless see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways, the divine can use anything and anyone. Wow, wow, wow. We have 11 with imperfect harmony. Beautiful. 11 is a master number. It's all about divine um, inspiration. It is about um, the encouragement to keep going, about synchronicities. Imperfect harmony. Beautiful. Music coming through very strong, so music could be significant. Your person could be a musician. You guys could share a lot of music. Very strong musical presence coming through here. I'm also getting pink petals here, so pink flowers. I'm getting Aquarius energy. Yeah. Okay. And we have number five with body and soul. Wow. So we have lotus flowers growing from lilies, lily pads. And then we have this dragonfly. Dragonfly is all about seeing through illusions. It's also about immortality and agility with the dragonfly. Okay, spiritual growth, learning, expanding the soul. Wow, look at that beautiful card. Where do we put this spirit? Here? No, here. Okay, we have distant horizons with 36. An anchor and a ship. And we have the fox, number 14 or number 5. Okay, and we have 23 with patient heart. Move forward and grow. We see the, yeah, the clock here. Those give me divine timing. Lots of clocks, actually. And we see a key. Patient heart, 23 or the number 5. Number 9 with the number 36 here. So we have 555 five, five coming through. So far, three fives. We have privilege. Okay. And it looks like this guy's holding a cane and a hat here and a trench coat. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Mm. Okay. We have the orphan, number five, the pink flower coming through again. Very strong. 
And then we have the snake, which is all about healing, shedding the old. Um, it's also about wisdom with the snake here. The orphan. Okay. Number five again, you guys. Lots of fives. Five is all about change, conflict, loss, rebuilding. It's also the Hierophant in the Tarot, which is about uh, higher level learnings, understandings, traditions, and ideologies. And it's also temperance, finding balance, healing, healing coming through. So we have the Lizard Spirit, dream the world into being. That's this Limitless, 38. Or the number 10. Lizard Spirit, dream the world into being. We have Kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, receiving affection, and following in love okay and we have discovery root chakra discovery okay and we have recovery oh my goodness look another key so we had a key hanging up here keys all about knowledge again the wisdom because information is one thing and it's what we do with this information it opens the door to new possibilities here limitless possibilities discovery and recovery air energy coming through again aquarius and then libra and gemini but mostly i feel aquarius feeling jupiter energy present here sagittarius and pisces as well Mercury, this is Virgo and Gemini, messages, number 20. More snake energy, which is that healing, the shedding of the old. So Scorpio energy coming through now. Yes, and we have rebel. Light attributes, challenges authority to affect social change, reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Shadow attributes, rejects legitimate authority out of anger, rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. We have Venus, number four. Venus is the ruling planet for uh, Taurus and Libra. We have 4-4 four, four with the Holy Gra Grail Code. Just give me Ace of Cups energy. Receive the gift. Oh my goodness. The one cup of love. I'm seeing four cups. And I'm seeing this one cup highlighted. So uh, this might be confirmation coming through. This might be a connection in which you might have offered this person a cup of love. Okay, a gift of love. Now you can flip roles if this is your energy. But I, I feel like this energy that I'm reading here was offered a cup of love. And they might have not have grabbed that. They might have turned it down. They might have resisted the cup of love here at one point. Like I said, if this is you... But I feel like this cup is glowing here, and I feel like this is also about self-love. Okay, receive the gift. And we have Puppet Master, Capricorn energy coming through. And Ace of Wands here, energy. Puppet Master. And we have Abundance, Eight. The energy of abundance activates our ability to manifest the wealth we need and the sense of fulfillment that comes from a heart and a soul that are overflowing with love and gratitude. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Sorry, guys. I know it's a little squishy here, but that's all the space I have. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things oh my goodness love right beside venus that's all about love okay and finally we have surrender to what is flow with what is instead of fighting it when you can't change a situation compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace okay let me sit with this energy for a little bit here and see what um what comes through okay hmm. see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways receive the gift okay the divine can use anything and anyone body and soul spiritual growth
Okay. This is an interesting energy. Um, this could certainly be your energy. Mm, flip it if it sounds more like your person's energy, but uh, I'm going to read this like it's you, okay? So, I feel as though you're entering into an energy here of really accepting what's going on in, in this connection that you've come here about, okay? And this is coming from a true place of unconditional love, like unconditional love. It's, it's coming from a very spiritual ascended place of allowing what is to sort of flow. And I feel as though at one point you might have been really outcome focused and I mean, you could still be outcome focused in a way here, but, but I feel as though what it's showing here is the next sort of thing to expect is that you're now more focused on allowing things to unfold as they do. I feel as though there's things coming into place in, in ways that they haven't in the past and that the right things are happening at the right time in this connection. But I feel like there's still a lot of surprises and a lot of things that we don't see. And it's like this for a reason that the universe is in control. And I was feeling the, the wheel of fortune energy, which I was saying was Jupiter energy for me, was what I was feeling. And that's because the universe is really divinely guiding this connection. Okay. And I mean, the universe guides everything, but I feel like this is like a very divinely guided spiritual journey that's being like controlled by the universe here. Okay. It is aligning everything, everyone exactly as it should in a way that is supposed to flow and there's a limitless amount of abundance here that's going to unfold here okay exactly as it should and I feel there's lessons about attachment there's lessons in regards to child wounding there's lessons in regards to healing and shedding of self there's lessons in regard to both you and this person are having to heal and I feel like both of you and this person are into intertwined and this is giving me a lot of twin flame sort of energy because I feel like there's mirroring there's shedding of old ways there's big life lessons there's lots of healing okay and I feel like when you need communication communication comes and it's going to come in different forms it's going to come through dreams it's going to come through different ways here okay but I, I feel like this is a beautiful beautiful thing that's happening here between you and your person I feel it is unconditional love. I feel it is very spiritual. I feel like both of you guys feel very blessed. And I feel like both of you guys are at the mercy of the universe, waiting for the universe to show you what's next, okay? And, and sometimes you've had to really rely on the universe, like, heavily because you've been completely lost and upside down. And sometimes you've been resisting the universe and trying to fight against because what you wanted to happen when you wanted it to happen you were trying to make happen and, and the universe said no this is unfolding exactly as it should in the time in which it should and it's being divinely guided and divine timing is in play and you will get your abundance and you will be loved but you're going to learn about self-love giving self-love and I do feel like someone was rejecting potentially your love there was unrequited love here okay and you could have been trying to give love to your person or come together in a way here that wasn't happening and the universe said no because we need to learn about self and we need to learn about unconditional love we need to surrender to the universe we need to allow what is to be we got to be present we got to get into pure state we have to identify when we're an ego we have to identify our shadow self we have to call out the shadow self. We've got to call out the devil. we got to call out ways in which we are that are illusions. we got to see through illusions of who we say we are or what it is that we think we are about. we got to come into union, mind, body, soul, and spirit. All in balance. Now, why does this happen? Because we're on a journey we chose to be on. Or the universe is making this dream come true for you. I feel like this connection is certainly going to unfold here for you, okay? But I feel you feel very distant from this person, or you might be at a long distance, or just emotionally there's parting here. And, and sometimes this has been very, very, very heavy. And I feel as though 
spirit is showing you still don't know exactly what's going to happen here with this uh, fox energy okay that the universe can s do whatever it needs to do use whoever it needs to do just keep an open mind that whatever is unfolding is for your best interest and that's by being unconditionally loving you're going to have love in your life here okay and, and you're going to discover about yourself you're going to discover a lot about the journey you're going to connect to spirit but mostly you're going to feel it from a heart place so you might have to yeah like completely discover yourself for the first time despite any fears dive into emotions look at your root chakra where you might have unhealthy ways of being and habits and addictions and certain things that we do here that we have to really look at and get honest with ourselves okay and then with this recovery here we got to make the changes in our life and then we're ready to open the door to the next phase so we recover from pains we recover from blockages we recover and this um indigo sort of uh, color um chakra here i'm getting crown chakra I'm also getting third eye chakra and that's for me is a very spiritual okay so you might be coming into contact with your spiritual gifts your ability to receive downloads and really connect to spirit and i feel like the key is happening in this journey which is all you need in order to enter the next phase here okay so the recovery here is anywhere where this connection seems broken seems stuck there will be harmony there will be cohesion there will be union there will be forward movement you don't know how but you got to trust the universe and you got to lean into unconditional love and you have to know that there is no limits when the universe is involved that uh, dreams could be revealed right in front of you dream the world into being Whatever you dream could be in existence here, but your job is just to dream at what you want and allow the universe to iron everything else out by not fixating on a certain way that it should happen or the certain person you see there, but you're allowed to want unconditional love and you're allowed to have a vision of what, where you see beauty for yourself and allow the universe to iron out how and when this happens in a way here but the universe knows there's certain parts of self that are needing to be addressed maintenanced and healed and reflected upon and where there needs to be balance and cohesion where the shadow needs to fall away and where we need to examine ourselves and so if we've been suffering a difficult connection here, it's for our own sort of good here. And I, I feel like how you'll know if this is in regards to your connection with your person, is I feel like this was an unexpected encounter of something you probably wouldn't have chose for yourself. Like this person is someone that, again, like your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Like this is something completely outside of maybe what you would choose for self. I feel there's a lot of attraction and beauty and and i feel as though what spirit is showing is that you and this person are in this journey and this dance together i feel like there's a big blessing here that the universe is gifting to you guys with this connection so just you know understand that if you want to be in harmony here put that out to the universe and don't put any sort of restrictions on how it should happen and just let the universe sort this out because I feel like the real journey is on the self-discovery. So this is very much Twin Flames. This is self-discovery, discovering unconditional love, tapping into heart space, you know, being at peace with however long the universe takes to make things happen here with the patient heart, okay? And I do feel as though how you'll also know, maybe this person was resisting. This person might have been somebody who was not being uh, completely upfront. So they could have been, you know, just keeping to themselves, trying to do their own thing here with the fox. You might have felt kind of left out or not included. And they could have rebelled against this connection. I do feel there was an unrequited love at one point in time here. And now I feel like you're finding your way to energetically accept 
what what's going on here and, and see through any illusions here okay and really focus on self so let's see spirits can we please see some more in regards to pile number three and what exactly can they expect next in this connection pile number three spirit clear and concise message for the greatest and highest good of pile three thank you so much pile three for allowing me to tap into your energy the energy around you at this time i am truly blessed thank you so much all right so we have the empress in reverse Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. So yeah, you might feel as a love is blocked or yeah, like you're not getting all the love you want, but spirit's showing like in order for this to come together, you got to be in your full divine power here. Okay. So you might resonate as, as divine feminine. You don't have to be female. And even if you're male or masculine here, you, we have both feminine and, and masculine energies. And we're working on both energies being at full sort of capacity here within ourselves in order for us to be balanced. So I feel like the divine feminine energy within you is needing to be worked on. We need to learn how to receive love. We need to learn about unconditional love. We need to be loving. Okay, we need to work on maybe mother wounds. We need to allow the universe to help us birth what we need to birth here in order for there to be cohesion. This is also this Venus energy, okay? Beautiful energy coming through. Libra Taurus. Father of Cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So, again, I feel this person that I'm reading, okay? Like I said, crisscross. I don't know who's who, but has not been emotionally available here to... I don't know, like, do what they need to do here to support you. You might feel very alone in this journey, especially with the orphan. Abandoned by this person, like, you're trying to learn things kind of on your own, and, and there's a reason this is happening, and it's divinely guided, and it's because of spirit, not necessarily this person. This person might have to learn how to tap into their emotions. There's deep, deep love here. This is the most love I could pull here in the tarot, you know, with the empress and this, the king of cups. This king loves the deepest masculine energy. So I feel like the King of Cups is sometimes in the reverse here is like someone here who might be emotionally not knowing how to tap into his emotions or, or resisting the emotions that he feels here. Okay, and, and that's this person's lesson here. So we have the Hangman, Pisces energy. Hangman energy. This is having to just completely shake things up in a different way to see them how we might not have seen it before. You know, and, and sometimes the hangman is ostracized um, because of unique sort of points of view. And I feel like Spirit is saying, like, allow yourself to keep an open mind. You'll know what you need to know. And even if things feel very stuck and not moving, there's a reason why. Okay, and we have Seven of Wands. And we have the Five of Wands in reverse. So Wands is lots of passion. The Seven of Wands is standing our ground and, and fighting for what we believe in. And the Five of Wands is all about conflict. It could be internal conflict, having to, to compete or... But in the reverse here, it's like no longer battling um, maybe ourselves and yeah, like having to win the battle of what we want and maybe not being conflicted about it. So <clears throat> I think someone here, whoever was resisting maybe their feelings or not letting the love flow here, they're having to understand where they're combative, having to see things from a complete different perspective here. Why is this hangman here? Oopsie. So we have the Father of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy in the reverse. So now we have two kings. For some of you guys, if you're resonating with same sex, take this as confirmation. Okay, but it doesn't necessarily have to be here, um, the same sex, because I mean, we do see feminine energy. We have seen masculine energy here as well. But again, we have both. Um,
Yeah, I feel as though the person you're working with, if I'm reading this right, okay, because again, when I'm reading for blended energies such as this and twins, it's like a lot of mirroring happening here. I feel as though love is blocked in a way here and it could have been blocked for some time because uh, someone, this person is needing to learn how to open up their heart space, learn about unconditional love, learn how to fight for what they want, okay, allow the passion to come through, not get in their own mind about it, not resist and fight, okay, because I think they're fighting their feelings and start to see things from a completely different perspective here, okay, and I think this is why things are stalled out, and I, I feel like this person's having to understand where they could build their confidence in making a move, like actually taking action and making things happen here, I feel like this person is working on their confidence. I feel like this person is working on opening up, uh, seeing things differently than they have in the past and, and standing from the position here that they're not going to just sort of surrender, you know, surrender to resisting or blocking out this connection or the love that's being offered here. This person is actually opening up to receive to see what the universe wants to give, you know, because I feel like this person hasn't been in a receptive sort of energy. Look at the hats also waiting to receive. There's a lot of receiving energy coming through in the Oracle and here's like blocked reception, you know, because I feel like that's what's changing. Like this person's understanding that they can receive love in order for them to get enough so they could be confident so that they can give love. If we can't receive, then we're incapable of showing up and giving. So big changes with this person's energy in regards to perception, in regards to receiving, in regards to acknowledgement, in regards to where it is that they want to put their energy with the seven of wands, what they want to fight for. So let's get a deeper look. Spirit, am I missing anything? Can we get a deeper look for pile three? Any questions Pile 3 might have in regards to what they can expect next in this connection? Because I know we're seeing a lot of, you know, divine guidance here and it's being very closed off in regards to what's happening. But I do see lots of healing. I do see lots of childhood healing happening here of abandonment and attachment and lots of learning, spiritual growth. Spirits, what am I missing? Can we get a deeper layer here for pile number three, please? What can pile three expect in this connection? What can they expect next in this connection? Thank you so much. Now we have the seven of wands in reverse. We have the star in reverse, Aquarius energy. We have the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy. We have the Father Cups now in the upright. That is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We have the Tower in reverse. And we have the Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. Okay. So I feel like you guys aren't in a good place with this person physically. I feel like things are moving. Okay. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Again, patient heart. And it's slow because the universe needs to work with both of you guys in order to do all the healing and spiritual stuff that's happening in this journey so we move out of difficult five of swords conflict okay and i feel like where this person might have been very defensive might have been combative might have been fighting or resisting this connection i feel like this person is having to open up their heart space work with their emotions come to some understanding of feeling this is emotionally mature okay we're seeing a lot of uh, king energy so emotionally mature i don't feel like this person is a page i feel like this person is a, a king who's been resisting his feelings and and i feel like what's happened here is it's caused this connection to feel sort of cold and, and distant and potentially you lost hope here and this person has had to really face some sort of healing that they've been resisting star cards all about healing this is also giving me destiny here i feel like this is a destined connection that someone wasn't like wasn't on the the wasn't being receptive to okay and, and i feel like there was a lot of lost hope here i feel like time was kind of lost as well and i feel like this person could have certainly been keeping up some sort of tower in their life which is 
uh, it could be all sorts of things in their life that they're telling themselves that they need. Okay, like false sense of self, ego, this false structure, whatever it is that this person was keeping up here, I feel like this person was doing so to resist their emotions at the expense of their vision of the future here, long-term potential with you and this person. So I feel like this was the devil in the center in this connection. This was the five of swords keeping this connection stuck. And, and I feel like what's happening next is a release of the devil in order for there to be emotional happiness here for this person to actually connect with the cups, okay, their emotions. And I feel as though this is going to come once this person deals with this tower energy, this devil tower, because I feel like we could keep up illusions, we could keep up devils if we... Or trying to distract ourselves from, you know, like not feeling. And I feel like this person can no longer maintain a level of resistance here. Like they got to come out and recognize the devil for what it is. Because I feel like time is, is dissipating and potentially you've lost hope in this person. And healing is inevitable. This person has ha has to look at this okay so i feel like happening next this person is dropping their guard this person is coming into some tapping into of emotions yeah release releasing the devil releasing the tower releasing whatever was had them stuck here the four of pentacles is sometimes the false emperor because we think we have stability and we're held back and we're too miserly and we think if we move forward we might lose out on something here so we have a lack, uh, lack mentality but i feel like with this in the reverse it's like releasing wherever this person was held back this person is now understanding i need to find my nine cups here i need to tap into my emotions in order for me to heal and in order for there to be movement with my person here so let's get final words here in regards to what can you expect next from this person that was Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Aquarius energy coming through, Capricorn energy. So we have Mother of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might be, I don't know, maybe upset at your person. Maybe you're not sure exactly what you want. You know, maybe you have a decision here to make. I feel like you might have put a boundary up. I feel like there's a decision you're needing to make. I feel like you could be at a crossroads. Spirit saying, get very clear. Get certain what you want. Use the wisdom that you've had here. Five of Swords. You might be in a very not good place here, okay? This is what I'm picking up. Emperor. Divine Masculine Energy. Aries Energy. Why is this Two of Wands here? Eight cups reverse. And finally, why is this five of swords here? Three cups reverse. Okay. And we have the hangman. And I don't read bottom of the deck reverse again. And the hermit. Virgo. Pisces. Aries. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. I'm getting your energy from this mother of swords. Uh, I think you might be angry at your person. And I feel like you have a choice to make. And Spirit is saying, don't be fixated on your thought, whatever happened. And I'm not saying that you got to forgive this person for what they did, because they don't know what they did. So much as what I'm reading the energy here of Spirit showing. If we are very fixated on what has happened in our mindset, and our mind is telling us a story, we start to believe it. Okay, and yes, we could have experienced something but we're experiencing it and then we're attaching our own sort of mindset to it. And Spirit is saying, are you sure, are you certain that whatever happened here, that the story you're telling yourself is the absolute truth or you were hurt by something here and so therefore it now is causing you to be in an energy here that's uh, quite standoffish. You might be quite pissed off at your person, you know, and if this person did do something that upset you, then make the decision here. Get very clear about what it is you want for yourself. Do not engage in negative energy that causes more conflict. So if we are 
combative, if we're angry, if we're cold, then we can expect to see that. So we always got to choose to be loving. And if we cannot be loving, then we choose to move forward in a loving way. Okay. So I don't know why I have to say this, but I, I do feel as though that message is coming through for someone because I, I feel as though in order for this person to come forward, in order for this person to come into their own, they're needing to be accepted and they're needing to be loved. Okay. And so if you're not in a position to give this person love, because rightfully so, maybe they haven't done something, they still deserve to be loved. Okay. So there's a need for you to understand what you want to do with this person and then take action. Okay. And if you're emotionally not satisfied with the situation here and they've upset you or whatever has happened, then there's a need for you to decide to keep moving towards what does make you happy. Okay. So I feel as though there's still going to be conflict here, okay, until we learn lessons is really what I see here. I feel you guys are learning a lot of lessons about self-love, about healing, about what is an emotionally ha make you happy, making decisions, getting clear where we're the ones combative, where we sabotage, having to see the other person's point of view, detaching from ego. And I do feel as though this is going to be an on again, off again type connection. So will there be reconciliation if you're apart? Yes. If you guys are together and it's very turbulent, will you guys most likely have a period of separation? Most likely, okay? And, and I feel as though there is this need to go from the type of love we see in the movies, which is more of a superficial type love, okay? Where we think we, we love someone, but it's out of an attachment. It's out of a, a story we tell ourselves rather than an open heart space, which is unconditional love. Okay, God love, like conscious love. Okay, so if we want to consciously love this person, we have to see things completely different. We have to shed egos. We have to see where we're kind of telling ourselves stories and believe certain things. That's all our mind. That's the devil because nothing really exists that our mind is telling us. Okay, because again, I'm being told like, um, you know, when you're born, you get you come into this world fully conscious okay and then you get given a name by your parents with letters and so my name is linda and so then i start to connect to linda i start to say linda is this and linda does that and and linda is this being that my parents have named but i was there before my name and so let's say i get hit by a bus god forbid and i forget everything that linda was do I disappear? No, I'm still there. I'm not the Linda that I was in my mind, all of the stories. I'm the conscious being. If I remember nothing at all about when I was, you know, after I was born, if I forget everything, I'm still conscious. I'm still me. Okay, so, so what this is saying here to me is that there's some sort of story, some sort of identity we're giving to this connection, some sort of weight we're putting on this connection or belief in this connection or understanding in this connection that we're giving it. And then it, it controls us in some way. So we're expecting to see certain things. We get upset at certain things when we just accept openly with open arms and accept this person for being a part of God and, and consciousness. And we're all connected as oneness. And that doesn't mean we have to put up with people treating us poorly, but we won't feel disappointed and angry. We get very clear about what we want and then we can accept people. And then I feel this person can mirror you and they can come into their own beautiful divine masculine energy. But I feel like we need to get empowered. We cannot give away our power to someone else. So I feel like there's a need for you to get empowered about what you want. Okay. And for you to recognize where there's shadow where there's healing, where there's parts of you that is sabotaging, parts of you that has expectations, parts of you that needs to, to really reflect here, okay? And, and, and see yourself from this person's perspective as well. The best way for you to do this sort of work is to say, am I doing something here because I have an expectation? Like, what are my intentions? If there's any expectation, if your intentions are to gain something for self, then that's shadow. Then that's, that's conflict. Okay. Now that's not saying that you can never have anything. That's just saying 
allow the universe to fill you with what's rightfully yours. There's no need to fight for it. There's no need to push for it. There's no need to resist and any of that stuff, okay? So when we learn to be open, when we learn to work with the universe, not resist and not carry such heavy burdens, then things start to flow. That is the lesson, okay? What belongs to you is not heavy. It doesn't weigh a thing. It is a natural flow. It's not hurtful. It's not any of those things. We know we're in mind. We know we're in shadow. We know we're in our ego when we're in pain and when we're in a conflict, okay? And I feel like your person might be having to deal with their own things. So you might be focused on, yeah, why is this person choosing something else? You know, there might be third parties. There might be this person, like I said, they were incapable of opening up their heart space, in which I feel this person is going to do. But I feel like you have work here that you're needing to do. Yeah, the inner work. Inner work. You're having to get enlightened, see self from a completely different point of view than you have been in the past reflect do the work okay and and we might think we've done work but like i said if intentionally you're wanting to gain something if you feel any lack disappointment sadness pain resentment anger disappointment all of that that's not coming from unconditional heart open consciousness that's coming from ego coming from our mind story coming from conditioning us wanting outcome and it's difficult but we have to be honest with ourselves and say if I unconditionally love this person, I want them to be happy and I can also receive happiness in my life. That's all about self-love. Unconditional self-love here, okay? And the spirit wants to give you this gift, this way of thinking to get here, but we gotta we gotta be open-minded. We gotta keep an open mind on how we think. We gotta do the inner work and reflect here, okay? Yeah, five of pentacles. I don't think you're in a very good place. And it's because in this connection, because I, I feel there's still work to do. But is this connection happening? Absolutely. I feel like this is a journey that's going to go on for quite some time here, okay? I feel like there's expanding of the soul, learning about uh, Christ consciousness and about uh, heart consciousness and about unconditional love and about spiritual growth and about ascension, about self, about healing our wounds, healing our traumas, unconditional love of self and giving ourselves the empowerment we need. The universe is limitless, okay? We don't have to limit this. It's all about love. It's surrendering. It's finding the purity. It's finding you before you were given a name, okay? I'm like, pretend you have an amnesia here. Or scrub all the stories out of your mind, okay? Those are just stories. It's all illusion. It's all devil. So, Wow, that took a little bit of a turn. This is what I see here for you guys. What's going to happen? Exactly <laughs> exactly what the universe wants to happen. You know, I, I feel as though this connection is happening. This journey is happening. You and this person are healing. You guys are doing the dance. A lot of work, but it's you dreaming what you want to see in front of you, okay? And, and, and we manifest this stuff when we get out of our mind. When we get out of ego, we start to manifest abundance, we're no longer fighting against ourselves. We're no longer fighting against our, our, our twin or someone else. We're no longer doing all this. Like this recovery, I feel like this is you healing. This is you opening the door to your future here. And, and I feel like it is in a connection of love here. Now, is it this person? Most likely, but we're needing to do the dance here, okay? So I send you love. Hopefully this made sense for someone. And... I love you very much. If you're drawn to another pile, I will see you there. If not, then bye-bye.